Alright, so you've always wanted to kind of work in 3D design, modeling, maybe try a 3D printer, and you don't know where to get going. Well, this video is for you in that case, and it's a lot of fun. Your first step is let's go to Tinkercad.com. Okay, here we are at Tinkercad.com, and it's pretty easy to get to. All you have to do is put Tinkercad.com in the search bar, or I guess you could Google it too. Um, actually, you know what? I need to stop and actually tell you what we're doing and introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I'm Matt from The Random Maker here and we are going to be doing a very simple keychain project and this project is designed for kind of your first project after doing the tutorials and we have our own tutorial, check the description below, but this is not a comprehensive tutorial because I've found I watch tutorials, I watch, I kind of zoom through myself and then I just do it myself. I'm not somebody who likes to do step by step by step. I find it too slow. So I tend to teach that way. And with Tinkercad, it's so intuitive that I really don't see the need to do it. A lot of the simple steps, slowing her down. Okay, now what we are going to do to get this project and keychain started, you should already have an account because if you haven't, this video is not gonna work. Check out the description below for our Tinkercad video. And we're gonna go log in. Now, I'm gonna pause here because I don't want anybody to have my account information. And um, I'll meet you in your account. Well, I guess mine too, so. All right, we're gonna flip screens and let's get going. Okay, now that we're actually here, you can see we're in your account. And the very first step is, to be honest, get into designs. You can also see there, here's designs, circuits, code blocks, but today, only 3D design. We're then going to click new 3D design and now we are in the window. Finally at the part where we actually get to do the work and let's start making your simple keychain. Now I am assuming you have seen our introduction video to Tinkercad or you're at least familiar with Tinkercad through the tutorials so that this is more of a project idea, design brief and not a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide because this is a very simple get to it project, which is ones I absolutely love. Okay, first thing I always do with every project is I'm going to just put in a name and I'm just gonna call this the keychain, da 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 da. No problems there, except if I can actually spell, which I can't. Now that what we're gonna do is I could change the work plane if I go into the settings and changing it here, the 3D printers only ever see the object himself. This work plane actually doesn't exist. It's a reference point. Um, if you look over here into the settings again, you can see if you see presets, you can see 3D printers that, and it'll change this bed length to the length, the size of the 3D printer and it has custom. So if you have your own, you can put it in so that you don't design objects that are too big for your printer. Pretty simple. In our case, our little keychain is going to be so small, I'm just going to put it smack dab in the middle. All right, we're going to drag the box. And I'm going to make up numbers here because there's a couple, there's just some normalities I've kind of seen and worked with me in the past. So I'm going to go with 79. And if you're going to ask why 79, I actually can't remember. It's just what I've used 79 by 22 for keychains for a long time now. And it's one of those habits I've gotten into that I just haven't changed to be honest and I am going to shrink this down and the reason is very simple two centimeters is much too big now I want my object in the end to end up as a centimeter or under as I have found that's a pretty good medium ground for 3d printing and keychains but I can't go the full size so I'm gonna put six here and the reason is we're actually gonna be putting some other stuff in it later and I want to make sure everything adds up to 10 millimeters or one centimeter or less so my thickness is 6 79 by 22 now we just have a very we have a rectangle object in the middle that does not help us too much now I'm gonna now grab the Tauros and I'm gonna put it right onto your object right here and the reason I did that is we need a place to put the keys quite simply. Okay, I am going to bury this here. As we can see on the screen, we can see just the red kind of peeking through and barely. And that is what I wanted. And I'm just going to center by eyeball here. 
because um, the default for all the objects is 20. This is 22, so we can see on this grid line here, I've got one millimeter here, one millimeter here. For eyeballing, that is as close to proper as I'm gonna get. The next thing I'm gonna do is we put this as six. Now, I'm going to actually put this as four because what I want to do is I actually want to lift this off the ground because I didn't want it perfectly flat. And I know for 3D printers who've done it before, it's now going to have to put rafts and waste a bunch of filament. You know what? I'm going for aesthetics in this case. And the reason I wanted four, again, I've got one millimeter on the top, bottom, one millimeter on the top. Well, I really can't tell top or bottom today. Okay. Well, there we go. We've got a keychain. Okay, there's nothing on it. Now, this is the part where I'm going to do something very simple and just put my name on it using the text, but you could use this as your base to do whatever you want. But if you want to just get a cool, easy, simple project going, I'm going to grab the text box. I'm going to put it right over top here, and I'm going to spin this camera around so I can read because I'm not so good on the backwards portion, and we can see the text is quite big actually. Alright, so I'm gonna just go matte. And if you're wondering about the colors, don't worry. Um, 3D printing, it's going to be seen as one color anyway. And it's like this right here is blue, but we're actually gonna change that in a second and you'll understand why. Now I'm gonna check the height. And as we can see here, I'm actually going to leave this at 10 millimeters or one centimeter because the nice thing about Tinkercad, even though you can see it on the bottom here because it's touching the floor and you can see the lines, when we do the next step, it's all going to be one piece. Okay, what I'm going to do next is just highlight all three objects we can check here. And as soon as you highlight more than one object, group, I'm going to click that button. And what that group button does is it merges all the pieces together and as we can see the color changed and the reason is this is now one piece if you wanted to export this files to 3d print you would go export and then you would just click whichever one of the file types your 3d printer goes and uses and that's it and the nice thing about Tinkercad though is if you have multiple drawings on each work plane, you can just go select a shape because I did highlight this before I clicked it, or you can just do everything on the plate. <sighs> okay, well, there you go. This is a super simple, quick, get you to print project. This is Matt from the Random Maker saying, let's get making.